Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to tell you about stock market. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for more latest updates. This is an educational video. So please so children please aware of it. What is stock market? A stock market, equity market or share market is where people buy and sell stocks. The share market serves as a platform platform for investors to participate in the growth of companies diversity their portfolios and potentially earn returns on their investments stock market a set of exchange and other venues where shares of publicity held companies and bought and sold so at the stock market is like we buy some shares and sell them different types of stock market one indian stock market two international stock market in Indian stock market, the stock exchange in India serves as a market where financial instruments like stocks, bonds and commodities, commodities are traded. It is a platform where buyers and sellers come together to trade financial tools during specific hours of any business day while adhering to SEBI's well-defined guidelines. In international stock market, the international Stock market refers to all international markets that negotiate stocks from their domestic companies. For example, you can buy stocks from Apple at the local American company. But to get stocks from the Japanese superior, you need to go to the international Japanese market. That is called international stock market. What is share? A share, also known as a stock or equality, is a unit of ownership in a company where you buy shares. You become a part owner of the company and your ownership is proportional to number of shares you own companies issue share to raise money for things like expansion new developments new market as a shareholder you may have following rights and benefits voting you may be able to vote on certain company matters such as the election of the board of directors and major corporate decisions Dividends. You might receive payment from the company's profit called dividends, which can be proportional to your share of the company. Capital appreciation. You may benefit from capital appreciation as the company grows, which could lead to returns on your investments. How does stock market works? A stock market is a financial marketplace that allows investors to buy and sell shares of companies the stock market has two main parts primary market and secondary market it also has a company list issues ipo shares distributed to in the stock market about primary and secondary market the primary market companies raise capital for the first time by issuing shares to the public through the initial public offering ipo secondary market once shares are issued they can be bought and sold on a stock exchange the secondary market includes stock exchanges, stock brokers, mutual funds, financial institutions and individual investors. Positive and ne negative alpha in stock market. A positive in alpha indicates the security is outperforming the market controversially and negative alpha indicates the security fails to generate returns at the same rate as the broader sector. So according to this definition, a stock with a negative alpha is underperforming you can also see the ESM and crash of it issue 1 issue 2 and issue T 3 the stock market profit capital gain profit from selling a stock at the higher price than the purchase price stock split a corporate action increasing the number of shares in circulation reducing their price earnings per share EPS a company's profit divided by number of outstanding shares. Stock and mark loss. A stock market can fall occur as a result of large disastrous event, an economic crisis of bursting of long-term speculative bubble, reactionary public fear in response to a stock market fall can also be the key cause prompting panic selling that further depresses prices. Sometimes this might also happen when you buy some shares sometimes it can also be fallen stock market example here are some examples of stock market one stock trade 
an investor might place a market order to 1000 shares of xyz stock at $3 per share in fast moving market some of the shares might execute at $3 per share and the rest might execute at a higher price another opinion is a limit order which is an order to buy or sell a stock at a specific price or better bear market a bear market is a market decline of 20% or more which can be cyclical or longer term Cy- cyclical bear markets can last for weeks or months with longer term bear markets can last for years or decades bear markets can are often com- accompanied by the weakening economy investors fear and pessimism and massive liquidation of securities stock exchanges the stock market is a collection of exchanges where companies list their stocks for buying selling and issuing some examples of stock exchanges include nasdaq the national association of securities dealers automated quantitations is an american based stock market that handles electronic securities trading for 3300 companies globally the us securities and exchange commission sec monitors nasdaq tokyo stock exchange an example for a larger stock exchange outside of the united states shanghai stock exchange another example of larger stock exchange outside the united states london stock exchange this is also another example of larger stock exchange outside of the usa this is a youtube video based on the basics of stock market stock market in another youtube channel i put it in a link here make sure you go to this link to the stock market video stock market conclusion conclusion the share market is a dynamic ecosystem that provides opportunities for individuals to become a part of the growth story of companies and potentially realizing financial gains stock prices stock prices change based on supply and demand with earning being the most important factor influences prices economic indicators the stock market reflect investor segment and the overall health of the company for example rising stock prices often indicate investors confidence in economy while falling prices may indicate concerns about economic stability efficient market hypothesis the efficient micro market hypothesis says that share prices reflect all information and that stock trade at their fair market value of exchanges proponents of emh believe that investors benefit for investing in a low cost passive portfolio while opponents believe that it is possible to beat the market all okay, right guys that is the end of the video make sure you like share and subscribe for more latest updates and press the bell icon too this is manish raj signing off